Hello, welcome to St Asaph, how to make the October family craft bag. Um, I'm Juliet, I'm going to talk you through how to make a fiery stained glass panel. And in your bag you will find all the materials that you need um, in terms of papers. You will also need from home though, some white PVA glue or sometimes called school glue or you might have maybe some clear craft glue, that would be very good as well. Or if you haven't got that, a simple glue stick will work. However, you want the glue to dry as clear as possible so it's um, as transparent or see-through as possible. You will also need a pair of scissors. Please ask for help uh, depending on your age. And a pencil to draw any more complicated shapes that you might want to then cut out later on. So if we make a start, we should have the frame that's already cut out in the middle. That is going to become the panel for our stained glass to go into. I've also put down paper to protect the table I'm working on, so make sure you have a surface that it's okay for glue to go on because we, it does tend to get a little bit messy. You have a piece of acetate that's basically clear see-through plastic. With the glue, what you want to do, I'm just going to pretend to put glue on here, go all the way around the edges. This glue will go on white and then dry clear later on. Is pop that on top so that it goes all the way around the edges and then we're ready to create our stained glass panel. Now, in your pack you will find uh, a stained glass example. This is actually of St Asaph from St Asaph Cathedral. Can you see the black lines? They are on the real stained glass made of lead and they hold in a small piece of glass to stop them from falling out. So that is what we're going to do using our thin strips of the card. So don't stick anything down, lay them out so that you can have a little play and see what patterns you would like. You might want to use your scissors and with a larger piece of card cut out some more curved shapes if you wanted to depends how complicated you want your pattern to be. Make sure that you do leave lots of gaps because we want to be able to have lots of colour in our stained glass window and the more black you put on, the less colour obviously is going to be showing up. So once you're happy that that is the pattern that you want to go for, stick those down using the glue and here's one that I started earlier. So you can see the glue is dried clear all the way around and I've stuck down the pieces that form the lead pattern on my window and obviously that is going to be the front eventually. Now we're going to create our pattern of the fiery stained glass. So if I bring this back again, this picture of St Asaph actually is what inspired our fiery stained glass theme. If you can see in the background, there is another saint here, that is Saint Kentigan. And he's lying down, he's very cold, he's got blankets on him. And then here in the background is actually Saint Asaph before he was a saint, when he was a boy. Now Saint Kentigan asked Asaph to go and get him some hot coals to help him to warm up a little bit, to put them in the fire next to Saint Kentigan's bed. And Asaph actually went, put them in his tunic and carried them to St Kentigan's bed and was unburnt from doing this. This was classed as a miracle and that is how St Asaph became a saint. Now you can see the hot coals there, the fiery colours, so that is what we have in our pack. Lots of fiery colours that we can cut or rip. And we also have the black that I thought would represent the coals. So, you need to think about how you place these on your pane here. 
is we're working reverse. So whatever you stick down first is actually going to be the first thing that you see when you look at it from the front. So I'll show you a few shapes I've already cut out already. So use the tissue paper squares and leave the tissue paper strips for later. So here, you can see I've already cut out a few shapes. So what we will do is we'll put a little bit of glue down and we will stick, stick these on. And you can see the glue goes quite white at the moment. tissue paper. I find it easier to stick the acetate rather than putting the glue on the tissue paper because that tends to rip quite a lot. You'll find you'll probably get a little bit gluey on your hands. So there's my hot coals going down. Then I'm going to put a bit more glue on and start to put my flames on here now. Cut out some strips already. Basically, you're trying to cover up as much of clear acetate as possible. Now, this one, can you see it's got two sides to it? There's a blank side and that lovely shiny side. Remember, working reverse, so put the shiny side down stick that down because that is once that dries clear you're going to be able to see that through that side. Same with this piece here. Let's put that one down and so on. So I'll just do a little bit more. A bit more glue on there. Get some nice gold. So keep on going until most of the glass is filled with colour. Now I've also, if you don't want to cut shapes, you can rip them too. So if you haven't got scissors or you don't want to use scissors, rich shapes work just as well. still got a few little bits of um, acetate that haven't got any tissue on. That is where your strips of tissue will come in handy because just cut them to size but basically now you can just put on do some more glue, stick the strips behind to get any tissue on it will be covered in a colour and it helps to keep all those layers sandwiched in. Now you can see it's quite a lot of glue going on here so this is going to take a little while to dry but then once it's dry it will be pretty see-through we can use it as a stained glass window. Just a little strip, I think. Let's do a red at the top. Put that one down. So you can neaten that up. Basically, that's always sandwiched in. When that dries, 
you're going to have a stained glass window panel. So obviously that, you can see all the glue is still nice and squishy. So leave that somewhere to dry overnight. Once it's dry, it should end up looking something like this. They look fantastic against a window, and particularly when you have a light that's shining through them. So have a little play, and I hope you enjoy the family craft bag making your own fiery stained glass window for October.